Oh, hey, you're back. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm just making <laughs> a... Hey! I was just making a cup of tea. <laughs> Idiot! I see you! Over here! Get him! This is your fault. Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at the Ghost of Requiem set from Mega Constructs. <clears throat> oh, I mean uh, Mega now. Look at all that shiny new packaging. We'll take a look at what you get, as well as the pros and cons of using it for stop motion. The set officially retails for $16.99, or roughly £14, but as usual the prices do vary depending on where you look. All the figures in this set are inspired by Halo 4. The first figure is a blue Halo 4 Storm Elite. But wait, he's actually a named character. It's actually... Gekla! See, if you remove the helmet, that's what makes him Gekla. Wait, who's Gekla, you say? You don't remember Gekla? From the hit Spartan Ops series that basically no one played. I mean, yeah, I completely forgot about him as well until now. Just go and watch through the Spartan Ops cutscenes, they're pretty decent. Now, although this is just kind of a gimmick, because you can literally take any blue Halo 4 Elite and remove their helmet and call them Gekla, Mega did still include a normal Elite helmet, so the good news is, if you just want to amass generic Halo 4 Elites, this is still a pretty great way to do that. Can you imagine if Mega didn't include a helmet with him in a set like this that's meant for getting generic figures? I can just picture the backlash. So yeah, he's perfectly fine. He's also got some tiny printed yellow details on him, which is more than I'd usually expect for a generic figure like this. Next, there's the Halo 4 Storm Grunt. It's got the same nice new articulation that we're used to nowadays, and the helmet can be removed. And boy, he ugly. Then there's the marine sporting the Halo 4 design of armour. One has this dark grey and silver armour, and the other has a cream coloured flak jacket. I think the cream one would have really benefited from an oil wash to make sure the details stand out, as it looks very plasticky. Both of them have exactly the same body underneath the armour, and I really like the brown stripe on the inside of the thigh. Both figures also include a grey backpack. The helmets are removable, revealing two different bare heads. Mega just keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with these removable pieces, and it looks seamless. I will say that it's pretty difficult to get the helmet off, as the character's nose gets caught on the chin strap. If the character's got a weak neck joint, it's more likely that you'll take the whole head off every time you go to remove the helmet, which isn't great if you want to try and animate them taking the helmet off. The set comes with a purple plasma pistol, a transparent blue energy sword, a black Halo 4 battle rifle, a black Halo 4 rocket launcher, four brown bases for the figures, and this time the set doesn't include a brick separator. This is the Halo 4 version of the Ghost. The overall design of this Ghost is nice and streamlined. It's a small build but well put together. This Ghost uses the same canopy part as the Banished Ghost, and it works really well here, although it's a shame that there's this hole right on the front. The canopy and a few of the smooth blocks have this hex pattern texture on it, which looks lovely. There's a few extra details as well, like this red marking, and the cockpit has a display printed on it. There's handles for the character to hold, and the scale of both the characters and vehicles look great together. The fins can rotate 360 degrees, and the guns can tilt up and down. Comparing this ghost to the banished ghost, 
it makes me realise how elegant and smooth it is when the Banished Ghost is so much more jagged. Also, while it's great to have the functional firing pegs on the Banished Ghost, the Requiem Ghost lacks this, but looks better for it in my opinion. To me, the Requiem Ghost looks more like an actual model than a toy, and I never noticed how wide the Banished Ghost's fins are. They're one stud longer than the Requiem Ghost's ones are. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm just not a fan of the Halo 4 and 5 art style, so I wasn't really drawn to the set for that reason. But if you do like it, then all power to you. You're probably pretty excited for this set and you'll get more out of it than me. But the real draw for me was those lightning bolts that hold up the ghost. I was really interested in how they could be used for other things like muzzle flashes, or if they could even be animated sparking down from the ghost close to what we see in the games. Sadly, while it looks amazing on its own, it would be really hard to use these in an animation. You see, the back lightning bolt can turn around, so if you move it randomly, it does look pretty good as if it's striking the ground. However, the front two are pegged in at a 45 degree angle, so if you turn them, this happens. The only thing I could think of was to support the ghost with something else while animating the lightning. I used these three parts. Preferably, the black piece should have been transparent too, but I didn't have any of those. I put these together and supported the ghost. Then I could animate the lightning individually, shining a light on each one so it glows. The only problem then would be erasing the stand, but it does look pretty cool as an effect. The lightning can be used for other effects though. It makes a good shock rifle muzzle flash, or even force lightning. Ultimately, this is a great set for army building Halo 4 troops and I think this is one of, if not the best looking ghost designs we've had. Most other people seem to agree and say they either really enjoyed the set or even bought a couple. The figures are definitely an improvement over their old designs. So what do you think? If there's anything you think I've missed, please let me and everyone else know in the comments. Before a new review goes up, I'll make a YouTube community post showing which set I'll be reviewing next so please keep a lookout for those as I'd love to hear and feature your feedback. Thanks for watching and take care.